Hello everyone, I'm so happy to be here with you again to share some wonderful music today. So today we are going to share a Russian music program with some of my favorite Russian composers. So we will start with Tchaikovsky and one of his most famous pieces, the Nutcracker Suite. And uh, this suite was wonderfully written, arranged for piano by uh, Michael Pletnyov, a wonderful pianist as well. Um, and it has seven of the most famous pieces from the Nutcracker, very virtuosic. And um, yeah, let, let's, let's start with music first and uh, we'll chat afterwards a little bit more about the concept of these concerts and what's happening inside this series. Okay, enjoy. <laughs>
Such wonderful music. I'm sure that you knew every one of these pieces. And yeah, this is a version that's very popular and they really love to play it. And, and, and it's just, yeah, like, um, I, I don't know if it seems difficult, but it's like one of the most virtuosic pieces that I've ever played, I think. It's really, really well written. So good evening, everybody, <laughs> again, and happy to be here. And I will just say two words about this series of concerts that I do during the COVID crisis, because as you know, uh, as artists, our, all our concerts are being canceled or like postponed, most of them, until um, right now it's official in Germany, it's until the end of August. So I'm planning to do these weekly concerts um, at home until then. Like, um, yeah, right now we are still uh, obliged to, you know, stay at home. Uh, but maybe I will find a studio later to do these concerts uh, in a better setting even because I love this piano, but, you know, acoustically we can have better for sure. Uh, but what counts is the music and I think that it's, it, it's good. It's still very good. Um, so this is a charity project because I was like, okay, um, okay, I, I got my concerts postponed. I want to do something. I want to play, you know, I want to play for you. I want to have concerts, you know, to, to, to practice my instrument as well. Uh, but at the same time, I was like, okay, it's, um, you know, I, I can ask for donations, but then there are people who really need it more than me. So every time we are partner, partnering, you say, yeah, partnering with a different um, foundation, charity foundation that does a special work during this crisis. And this time we are supporting a, a Berlin charity because we are now in Berlin at my place. Um, and this charity does a lot of street work. Uh, so the money that we collect today will directly go into, uh, you know, uh, buying some, some first need, first need <laughs> stuff for uh, the homeless community in Berlin, very specific, and masks and, you know, uh, dis disinfectants and this kind of stuff. Uh, okay. That's one thing, so don't hesitate to donate. Every detail is in the description down below. <laughs> I feel like a YouTuber when I say that. <laughs> okay, so new to me. Okay, let's move on to um, a piece that's really so delicate and ah, so beautiful. Two pieces, actually. It's called Two Poems. Two, po two Poems. So, Two Poems. Opus. 32, okay, <laughs> very carefully so you understand everything, by Scriabin. <laughs> so this is, these are two pieces that are like two jewels that contrast each other. You will see, it's, um, I believe these poems are always a bit sentimental with Scriabin, you know, something to do with love, I guess, <laughs> um, and mood as well, so enjoy that.
it is so awkward to finish a piece and to give a concert and not have any applause. But I know that you're doing that on the other side of the screen, so I just have to imagine it. <laughs> My sister is here with me. She helped me set up everything. And I told her, like, be quiet. And then she, now she's, like, super afraid to make any sounds. <laughs> okay. Thank you for being here, Cadenza. Her name is Cadenza. <laughs> we have very musical names. Um, okay, uh, just one sec. Um, so, thank you for being here. I'm doing weekly concerts now, so uh, next week at the same time. Um, no, actually, I'm so sorry. Next week at 6, Thursday at 6 next week, um, I'm playing again uh, with, uh, on this channel, so, with my friend, um, the violinist Iskandar Vijaya. And we do that at 6 because uh, there are a lot of Asian people uh, from um, uh, Indonesia and, and China who are very interested to tune in for that concert. So we do it a little bit earlier so that people can still watch it in live uh, in Asia. <laughs> so today, um, today I'm going to go on still with a very big piece, probably the biggest of this concert. And um, it's a piece that I deeply, deeply love. Like one of these pieces that I play when I'm, you know, I have something to express. I have something on my heart that I just want to, you know, put out. And that's one of these pieces that I play. And that's Rachmaninoff's second sonata. There are two versions of this sonata, uh, one quite early from uh, 1912, if I'm not, not mistaken. And the other one, the one that I'm going to play today from 1931. Enjoy.
That was my favorite music. <laughs> um, we are at the end of this program, and I promised myself that in this series of concerts, every time I will play something that I composed as well. So that, um, you know, I'm, I like to call myself as well a composer since two years. I do a lot of this, and I'm really enjoying it. And I think I have a lot to say through my own music as well. So today, after this huge, you know, Russian program, we had enough of virtuosity. We had, um, you know, we had like the fairy tales. Uh, we had the sentimental. We had the hyper sentimental with Rachmaninoff. Um, and uh, I thought I would just play something of mine that, um, you know, is not so loud and, and means a lot to me. So this piece is called Farewell to a Beautiful Soul. And as the title says, um, it was written when my grandfather died um, a few months ago, last September to be exact. And that was a quite traumatic experience, I guess that would be for everybody. But for me, it was especially traumatic because he raised me and he was one of my closest people. And that was the first ever, first time ever for me that I lost such a close person and that's literally changed my life and the the way i see the world and music and and everything and my relationship to people as well um yeah t tell me if maybe maybe after re uh, after listening to this piece maybe you will also think of people that you lost um you know during especially during this crisis i had a friend who also died from coronavirus and and i'm just you know friends of friends who died from this so it's it's a quite dark period um so yeah this piece is not to you know to stay depressed this piece it's a hope for me it it represents that you know the souls are in a better place and at least that that's my deepest wish Enjoy.
I just realized that I didn't put back the microphone. Okay, I think that you will tell me now. I think you can still hear it though. Yeah, yeah, I think you can still. Yeah, whatever, the emotion counts. <laughs> okay. Um, so we are at the end of this concert. <laughs> Thank you so much for staying with me until now. Um, yeah, I'm a bit emotional now, <laughs> uh, but see you next week. See you next Thursday at 6 p.m. this time, not 8, 6 p.m. next week for a violin piano duo concert. And uh, don't forget to make a donation, you know, any kind of donation, just casual, be casual about it. Everything you need to know about it in the description down below. And we are supporting today as well the RISE Foundation Berlin, who does an amazing street social work in the city. Thank you again. Enjoy your time. Enjoy music every day and see you next week. Thank you so much. Au revoir. Bye. <laughs>